suicide is usually made because we want to avoid our own emotion. So we get to a point where our emotions are so powerfully negative, like grieving type of emotions that we're not, we're not, we feel we're not allowed to feel, and usually that's due to projections of our family or or friends or both, or our environment, that we feel we're not allowed to feel those emotions, and so we then make a choice to decide to die because we believe we're not going to feel our emotions when we die. Right? The truth is actually, you will feel your emotions when you die. And it will be exactly the same emotions that you felt when you were alive. <coughs> because there is no saint seeing the death actually. See, there's a lot of concepts on the earth today about, if I die, all of a sudden I become this enlightened being. That's not true. You become the person you were the moment before you died, just with the spirit body. That's what you become. Nothing else. You have exactly the same feelings, exactly the same thoughts, exactly the same beliefs, with a few modifications because now you know there's no death. Mm -hmm. right? But you have exactly the same emotional condition. Are the memories still there? Everything's still there. Memories, oh, more, there'll be even more memories. Because <coughs> you'll remember all your sleep states at some point as well. Physical illnesses still in the family's future? All of you, you will imagine yourself to continue to have these physical illnesses. You will imagine, I say imagine them. Imagine, because yeah, you, you haven't got a physical Because it's your emotions that have created them. You don't have to cook, though, do you? You don't have to, yeah, there's a, there's a few changes. You don't have to cook. You don't have to clean. Oh. But lots of the girls felt that was a good one. <laughs> All those kind of things, right? And, but, that, but you will still be the same person, essentially, just without a physical form. And emotionally, you will certainly be the same person because the emotions are in the soul, which is the real you. So, when a person who suicides, suicides, often they're trying to get away from their emotions, and the end result is they actually feel more emotions plus plus one additional emotion, which is a guilt about their own death. I had free lunch. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lady who rang me about two weeks ago on the phone, and she said, oh, I'm going to commit suicide tonight. And she was serious. And she said, uh, I just want, wanted to talk to you about what it's like on the other side. Wow. Was, she rang me because she wanted to have some reassurance about life on the other side. And I told her the truth about suicide, and that is, not only would she feel as bad as she's currently feeling, but she would have no one around her who could probably help her, or she won't recognise that she's got people around her to help her. And on top of that, she's going to feel guilt about suicide. She had two children um, as well, uh, young children. And, uh, and so we discussed all of that, and what it got down to was this huge terror about feeling any of her own emotion. So that's the cause of suicide generally, this huge terror of feeling any of their own emotion. And the key, you can help a person who's suicided after they've passed quite a lot, as well as before they've passed. Uh, you can help them also not make the choice to suicide, but make a different choice. This lady uh, has made the choice now to actually feel all of her emotions. She rings me up quite terrified at times, but still is making the choice to feel her own emotions now. The motions that she's denied, that she had denied.